Welcome back. Today I have the Buzz TV HD5. I already took it out. Normally I do the unboxing and I show you guys everything and I wish I would have. Actually, if you guys go to the Rojas streaming tech, you guys could see the unboxing. Um, but like it has a little sleeve. You just pull it out. It's like a present. And I mean, literally, it's like a, everything like fits in perfectly. It's like a present. It's awesome. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. Um, also, check the description because I have coupon codes. That way you guys can get set up. Now, with this device, um, it does have the power. It's got an HDMI port. I'm sorry, it doesn't have an HDMI port. It has the HDMI dongle on there. Um, and it has the USB. And you could hardwire this thing, which is great. They do have this brand new remote that a lot of people like. I'm okay with it. I, I I don't like this directional pad right here. Everything just, it's blended in too smoothly for me. I've already hit the enter button and the down button at the same time. And I randomly click stuff. So, you know, kind of annoying for me, but a lot of people really do love this remote. I have mixed feelings on it. So there it is. Really good stuff. Let's check the device out. Um, for me, I like, ida 64 it tells me everything that's on here um that you get so we're gonna check this one out for system it is advertised as 32 gigs of internal memory you're left with uh, our internal storage say you're left with about 24 so not bad four gigs of ram it's got an amlogic chipset which is great your cpu you're running an arm cortex quad core a35 really really good 64 bit Really, really nice here. As far as your display, it's gonna full. It's gonna pull out the full resolution of what you have. GPU Mali G31, great stuff here. Android, it's running Android 11, Red Velvet Cake. Device is not rooted. When it comes to codecs, the codex has a lot of good stuff. Um, for your decoders, your audio stuff, it's got everything that you need: three GPP, AMR, Flock, Ala, MLA. Raw, MPEG, Opus, Vorbis. It's got all the stuff that you're going to need for your surround sound stuff, which is great. All the Unlogic stuff here too. So for your videos, you got H.263, H.264, RM10, 2030, VP8, VP9, AVC, AVS. Everything is all here of what you need. So that way you get all your 4K quality stuff here. Very, very nice. Now, one of the things I do like to test out right away um, is, of course, we'll look at the apps here. You get, I did IDA64, but you do get App Installer, AppToid, Buzz TV OTA, Buzz TV Remote, Google Play Store Files, uh, File Browser, the 4K Disney Plus, Chrome, uh, Standard Netflix Settings, and YouTube. I like to come to YouTube because it does give me a good, um, a good feel of what I'm going to get and check this out. Pretty good, pretty clean. Beyond the streams on YouTube, check us out. Pretty clean. So here we go. Um, the next thing is, if you need to check if your TV needs updating, your Buzz TV, check for updates here. It'll tell you if you don't need it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's going to say right here, I'm already updated. I'm good to go. As far as your remote goes, this is, people are going to wonder, is there a backlight on this thing? Backlight on? As soon as you turn on, boom, it's on. I'm going to turn it off and boom, it turns it off. Auto TV setup. You could set up your TV with this thing, set up color keys, everything right here on your remote. That's how you can set up the shortcuts right there. And then the last one at the bottom, update controller software. It says no firmware is needed. I'm already updated to the latest and greatest. Now, when it comes to Buzz TV, this one, they moved the options a little bit so you do have your live tv vod buzz tv does not offer that stuff you need to get that on your own if you come to the top right hand corner you see settings this is where you're going to find buzz tv utilities now if you do come here you could change the home screens buzz tv classic buzz tv media player media player 2 this is where you're going to be able to do that system update you could do that here too weather settings remote control volume great stuff there now, I know some people are saying like, well, what about the regular settings? Just click on the regular settings right there and it's going to bring you here. You could do your accounts. You could do all your apps. You could you know, like kill whatever app you have here, app permissions, stuff like that. Um, device preferences, remote accessories, more settings, like lots of stuff here that you can do here. It just has tons of options. Um, pretty, pretty nice here. Now, if you do go to, let me go to device preferences and you go to, uh, all the way to the bottom, 
and you go to about come all the way to the bottom where it says Android TV OS build. Some people want to know if I could unlock developer options. Click on this. I think it's seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are now a developer. Back up once. And if you come down here, now you have developer options. Now be careful. I tell people, if you don't know what you're doing, leave it alone. Um, USB debugging, you can turn that on. You can do several things in here. If you don't know what you're doing, leave everything alone. For the most part, you could download whatever you want just by going to Google. And you could just go to the, the APK store and stuff like that. Now, when it does come to Google, and I do want to use this, as you can see, I'm like kind of going up and down. I'm trying to get into the search bar. The remote does have a little arrow right there. That's your mouse. If you come here, move it up. Um, people want to know this because it happens. That's how you do it. Now, you have to click the mouse again to be able to get to the controllers to type in. Or if you're just like, well, I already typed in whatever I want. Let's just say Ida64. There it is right there. Now, I keep the mouse on so I could still continue to, to use it. But problem is, is I can't scroll down anymore. So I got to click that mouse again to be able to scroll down. So a couple things that you might have to click the mouse, click off the mouse, click the mouse, click off the mouse. Now, sometimes when you are going back and forth, and again, as you can see, it's not able to scroll down. Sometimes the mouse will turn off automatically. So keep that in mind as you're doing it. If you get this little pop-up and you're trying to hit the back button to reverse, that's because you're in the mouse. You have to click the mouse again, then hit the back button, it'll close, hit the back button again, and it'll start going back. So just a couple little quirky things that it has there that you just have to know as you're messing with it. But other than that, pretty good. If you hit this plus sign, you could set up any kind of shortcuts that you want, which is pretty neat. And this thing is smooth and fast this is literally everything that you need to know about this thing um, this device is amazing and it works smooth let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this guy is just buzz tv has just been getting better and better and better with their stuff so yeah with all that being said i hope you guys appreciated this video always appreciate you guys watching uh, my stuff hitting the thumbs up and leaving me a comment make sure you guys are sub to the channel and yeah, you guys take care, take care of each other, and we'll and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.